Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. I recorded my journaling process for this spread way back in November and somehow I forgot about it until today. I guess I uploaded the footage into my computer, put it into a folder, put that folder in another folder and you know how it goes. So when I found it, I wanted to get it done before the new year and it's December 31st, so I guess I made it. Welcome to the very last journaling video of 2020. It has been quite a year of growth, literally and figuratively. This community has increased by the tens of thousands over the last few months, and I'm just so grateful that you guys are here with me, keeping each other company while we journal at home, make art, and swoon over new stationery. We also tackled some really hard topics together like mental health, dealing with anxiety and depression, loneliness, comparison, and current events. This was a change that made me really love creating content even more because I felt like I was able to share a really important part of myself with you guys instead of just sharing the good stuff, which of course isn't the full story. So to those of you who stuck around after that change, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for accepting me as a real person who has real human emotions. One of the biggest lessons that I learned this year was to stop betraying myself in order to be a people pleaser. As a kid, I grew up in a very strict Asian household and being a people pleaser was something that allowed me to be praised and liked. And so I kind of went into my teenage years not speaking up for myself and my needs even when my gut instinct was telling me that my boundaries were being violated. And so this year I learned that I needed to enforce stronger boundaries and that no one is universally liked. I know that especially being on YouTube that you know there's gonna be haters out there, so I might as well do what feels right to me. This journal entry was from November, which was right around the time of the election. And I just remember needing to put down my phone because I had been obsessively refreshing my phone after the election and it just wasn't helpful because there was nothing else to be done. I had already voted, I already tried to get as many people to vote in my social circles as possible and it was just about waiting. So instead of having my eyes glued to my screen, I decided to journal and write my thoughts about the current events and how to keep showing up after the election. This was one of the writing prompts from Journaling About Justice, which encourages people to reflect on how to be anti-racist. For 2021, I do want to keep posting writing prompts because there is always more work to be done. This year, I'm not setting any specific New Year's resolutions for myself like I have in the years past, but instead, I'm just going to go forward with a mindset of being cautiously hopeful for better times in 2021. And instead of setting specific milestones, I'm going to be more focused on the journey rather than the results. By the way, I really want to thank my friend Julia, who lives in Italy. She sent me this envelope with a beautifully written letter and all of these gorgeous paper ephemera and stickers, and I just really love all of the things she sent me. So a lot of the pages in the last half of my journal have some sort of ephemera from her. So thank you, Julia. I love everything so much. I'm going to link her art in the video description, so definitely check her out and leave her some love. All right, and this is my November journal spread that I'm finally uploading in December. 
I still have to do a flip through of this particular journal. So that'll come sometime in January. Thank you so much for watching and journaling along with me. Let me know in the comments what kind of mindset you have for the new year. I'd love to know. And as always, happy journaling, happy art making, and I'll see you next time. Bye.